event, the president will head over to the University of Texas, where it's been an all-day event for hundreds of local students. That's right. KXN political reporter Josh Hinkle is reporting from Gregory Gym with more on the huge crowd that's out there. Yeah, it all started waiting overnight on Friday for tickets to the president's speech. I want you to check out this video now. UT students waiting since 7 this morning here in the heat, just sweating away. White House staff searched for the last week for a place large enough to hold two to 3,000 people. Now, the president's speech is scheduled to start at 2 this afternoon. The focus will be education, but many of these students just want to be in the same room as him. Uh, they were, are lining up now, first come, first serve for those good seats. We've been seeing event staff telling women they can't take their purses in, but it looks Even like other bags are just line, fine. A little bit of upset there. And also there are some problems with people cutting in line. It might mean trouble if you uh, have to get to class, especially when it's test time. Even though I'm here waiting in line, I have been, that's why I got here at 7 in the morning to wait in line. And my friend will actually be holding my place, and I will go take my test and return as promptly as possible. All right, Josh Hinkle reporting for us live at Gregory Gym. You can look for Josh's reports on KXAN.com. The president has a full schedule today. That is for sure. After his luncheon at 1 and then the speech at 2, he's going to be headed over to another fundraiser. This one is in Dallas this afternoon. That event will be held at a private home. It is closed to the press. The president will leave an Air Force One from Dallas around uh, 7.30. Expected to be back at Edward Air Force Base after 10 o'clock tonight. The president's speech at Gregory Gym is invite only, but if you didn't make that list, no problem, because we invite you to watch the event live here on KXAN or on KXAN.com. Our special coverage will begin when President Obama takes the stage, which should be around 2 o'clock.